Helen Frankenthaler, longtime Darien resident, pioneered the technique of staining unprimed canvas with thinned oil paint, creating bold fields of color. Frankenthaler, an abstract expressionist, has been a prolific painter and printmaker for nearly 60 years. Her works have been shown in the most prestigious galleries and museums worldwide. The title of this work refers to the biblical character Jacob, the son of Isaac and Rebekah. As described in the book of Genesis, Jacob had a dream in which he saw a ladder reaching toward heaven. The process is associated with abstract art, but this work, Frankenthaler explained, developed into shapes symbolic of an exuberant figure and ladder, therefore Jacob's ladder, a name derived from the Bible tale of Jacob's dream of a ladder between heaven and earth. Helen's style was known as the soak and stain method. She was the first woman to use this style, so she was considered a pioneer. Helen would pour the paint on the canvas, instead of using a brush and leave the splatter marks and drifts to show the process of her work. Helen and Jackson Pollock artworks are both considered abstract expressionism. This is also known as action painting. If you were doing artwork, what would you want the viewer to see? What feeling would you want them to express? Happiness? Sadness? Anger? Or what would be important for you to say with your artwork to the viewers? Helen Frankenthaler was a defining figure of mid-20th century American art. With an extraordinary language of abstraction, she worked across sculpture, printmaking, woodcutting, and even set design. But it was her imposing paintings, replete with gestural swaths of emotive color, for which she ascended the ranks to modern master. Frankenthaler was born in New York City in 1928, and as the daughter of New York State Supreme Court Justice Alfred Frankenthaler, she enjoyed an upbringing rife with opportunity. It was 1952 when a 23-year-old Frankenthaler created what's considered her first true masterpiece, entitled Mountains and Sea. This was the first composition that she made using her invented soak stain painting technique. She taught at NYU, Harvard, Princeton, and Yale, and continued to exhibit at major New York City institutions such as the Whitney Museum of American Art and the Museum of Modern Art. With a prolific and influential career, Frankenthaler died in Darien in 2011. Helen Frankenthaler was one of few noted female abstract expressionists. She took pride in the creative risks of experimentation, and with one of the era's keenest eyes for color and composition, she most certainly claimed her rightful place in the canon.